Uh, I'm Liz York, and this is my art portfolio. My binder broke, so I just have them all individually here. So the first one we did, the first art project we did was designing, and I did a little butterfly thing. Uh, my science standard I chose was investigating life cycles of living organisms, and the characteristics found in this piece of art are line, shape, form, space, pattern, emphasis, variety, unity, balance, and proportion. And the second art project we did was watercolor. And I did a flower. I don't know. So there's my foreground. My middle ground is right there in my background. And then my sky. Um, my social studies standard for this one is locate topographical features of Earth. And the characteristics are line, shape, form, color, texture, space, variety, balance, and proportion. Number three was oil pastels. And you had to make an imaginary animal. Something just fell on the floor. Um, so this is my animal. It's a penguin and a giraffe. My language arts standard is writing narratives to develop real or imagined stories or experiences. Uh, the characteristics are shape, form, color, space, pattern, variety, balance, and proportion. And then my printing one fell from my cat. Okay. So my printing one, I can't find my actual paper, but I have my actual um, printed thing. So um, the math standard for this one is correctly naming shapes regardless of their proportions, etc., etc. Um. And its characteristics are shape, form, color, value, pattern, variety, unity, balance, rhythm, and movement. And then, next was my favorite, uh, was the mixed media representation, which was the puppet. And I did Tomachichi. Um, his ear, and his other ear fell off. So there's his other ear with little earring. But, um... But yeah, so this social studies standard is reading about and describing the lives of Georgia historical figures, which this one was specifically Tomachichi, uh, Mary Musgrove, and can't think of the other guy's name. Uh, the characteristics of this one are line, shape, form, color, texture, space, pattern, emphasis, variety, unity, balance, and proportion. This was my favorite because it was hands-on, and I just love hands-on stuff. I love being able to build it in, like, 3D. He's got little earrings, as you can see, that actually dangle. Uh, huge lips. <laughs> He's got a little tongue thing, you know, the little, like, mouth thing in there, so. Um, next was the sixth one, which was drawing and shading. My math standard for this one is composed 2D and 3D shapes. The characteristics are line, shape, form, value, space, pattern, emphasis, unity, balance, and proportion. And for this one, I don't know if you can tell or not, that says easy shape, which is the type of uh, clay I used for my next one. And I had the box sitting out. I have all my art supplies in one little area, and the box is out. So I just figured, why not paint the box or draw the box? So here's my box with its shading. And last was the 3D form project, which was with clay. My science standard was identify factors that affect survival or extinction of organisms. And it could be real or imaginary. So mine is imaginary. Mine is a dragon. Um, you can't really tell, but he's got like stripes on his tail. and His toes are like super long, like a duck. And the characteristics in this one are line, shape, form, color, texture, space, emphasis, variety, balance, Rhythm and movement and proportion. And then, I don't know if we're supposed to do these or not, but I'm going to include them anyways because I still have them. Um, at the beginning of the semester, we did the Alien and its Trap project, and I still have mine. Um, this is this is Carl, and when he squirms inside of here, he gets his cheese because he loves cheese. And then these little things hold him so he can't get out, and then he gets captured, so... That's Carl with his little arms in between his mouth and his eye. Um, I was so shocked that I actually liked this because this was the first thing we did. And I've never been an artist and I hate drawing. So, but I, why not, right? Um, and then when we did the art history report thing, we had to do an art project too. 
So I did realism. Um, I think it goes this way. And mine was based off of a real flower picture photograph because realist artists sometimes did that. So this is mine. I don't have the picture of the real flower right now, but I tried to give it some texture with like some paint, but yeah. And then the last thing isn't an art project or anything, but uh, in one of the art assign or one of the book assignments, we had to take this random looking shape and turn it into something. And so I still have mine from that too. And I turned mine into a peacock. So there's my little peacock. And you can see the original shape is that with that hanging down and that one right there. And that one, I think. So, yeah. So those are my art projects. Um, I really enjoyed this class. I liked being able to take a break from the stress of other classes and stuff like that and be able to do fun art projects because who doesn't like drawing? You know, drawing is a stress relief that's proven. So it was nice to be able to take a break. And I actually appreciate art a lot more now. And I'm happy with my artwork, and I'm actually proud of my artwork, which has never happened ever in my life. So I'm really happy about that. So I enjoyed this class. Thanks.